food is something we can't imagine our lives without, and we highly rely on the fresh produce to have balanced eating habits and healthier lifestyle. But due to climate and distant location, the majority of goods in the shops are imported into the Falkland Islands, which makes us less self-sufficient. Stanley Growers is the only large-scale farm in the Falklands, and it operates on the hydroponic system. Hydroponic means a soilless farming, so the crops are suspended in a mixture of nutrients and water. This principle saves the water usage because no liquid is absorbed into soil. But saving the water doesn't override the electricity costs, which creates difficulties for the local farmers. Owner of the Stanley Growers, Tim Miller, spends around £2,000 each year on water supply, while the average electricity bill is £60,000 per year. But there are alternative ways to grow plants more efficient. For example, there is an option to build an outdoor hydroponic vertical farm. So it's quite simple. Water's in the box and the nutrients. Pumps up to the top, comes down by gravity through the pipes, back into the water box, and that's the cycle. It's recycling around the system with the nutrients all, all the time. This means that we're using 70% less water than a normal garden. And we only have to change the water once a year. A, a hydro veg kit that's got 41 holes, we can grow up to 120 veg in no bigger than a fence panel six foot square. A lot of people think they need sunlight, but actually they don't need sunlight until they're ripening. So mm. that's why we can grow the winter veg in the winter time where we've got less light. We don't have any lights attached because it's using the natural daylight. Apart from hydroponic farms, there is another type of agriculture, which combines growing vegetables and fish farming, so both processes can become more sufficient. And this can potentially be built in the Falcon Islands, because we already have trout farms here. The idea is, is that you can have fish growing in one system, and the water from the fish goes into plants that are growing in water, so things like basil and lettuce and tomatoes and things like that. Uh, and they grow over time uh, based on the nutrients that is coming from coming from the fish. The Fultons has had a couple of decades exploring the use of uh, aquaculture in terms of growing uh, brown trout, turning them into sea trout. So there could be there could be some sort of system in the Falklands developed a food fish production where they're they're growing the fish, the brown trout, and taking the nutrients out before the brown trout gets sent out to cages in order to be grown on to sea trout. However, I think um, in terms of the economic viability and the risk and adding com the complex needs of both things, the expertise is there in the Falklands already to do it. Models that I've seen that have worked quite well is when it's not the commercial aspects aren't relying solely on the production of the plants and the fish, but they also bring in things like a cafe and that cafe is using that produce and it's educating the public. There's school tours being taken around. So yeah, it could definitely work, um, but it would have to be, I guess it would have to be done in quite a holistic, a holistic view. A few years ago, three experts in agriculture from the UK came to the Falcon Islands as a part of one FIDC project, and they offered some generic advice how commercial farming could be improved locally. When I was in my time with Falcon Land Holdings, there was a, it was a project through FIDC connected to, I guess, self-sustainability, but also import substitution to try to, to look at ways to help people to you know grow vegetables and fruit on a commercial basis because we all know that there's a there's a lack of it for sale here. But they you know kind of they gave some some pretty sound advice um, as to how people could could grow things on a commercial basis. When you're moving out towards, um, you know, kind of a larger a larger commercial scale, the, the shelter and stuff's a big issue here in the, you know, in the Falklands, particularly dealing with the, with the winds and, and what is at the moment, you know, very much a drying climate. I mean, one thing that's obvious to me in the Falklands is that land isn't necessarily our biggest issue like it is in other countries. So, you know, there's plenty of land available, but um, as I mentioned before, that growing things outside is becoming more difficult. 
so we're growing inside. Generally, we have to ship things to the Falklands to build these facilities. Hydroponic and aquaponic vertical farms could be introduced locally, but we are restricted by the setup costs and expenses of sending the building materials overseas. Hopefully, there will be a way for the Falklands to become more self-sufficient in the future.